in older days. Now, welcome to the lesson on agriculture. At the end of this lesson, we will be able to identify cropping patterns based on the different climatic conditions. Describe the equipments used for tilling the soil. List the tools used for sowing seeds in the fields. Today, Ravi has come with his father to visit a nearby agricultural field. What is this, Dad? This is a crop. What do you mean by that? When plants of some kind are grown and cultivated at one place on a large scale, it is called crop. We can have wheat crop, rice crop or tomato crop. So does it mean that we can have cereal crop or a vegetable crop or a fruit crop? Yes. But can we prepare these crops anywhere and in any time of the year? In India, the climatic condition like temperature, humidity and rainfall vary from one region to another. Hence, we have different variety of crops. Crops are broadly divided into two parts, Rabi and Kharif. But what do they mean? Plants that need more water for healthy growth are planted during the rainy season around the month of June and harvested at the end of the rainy season around October are called Kharif crops. Some of the examples of Kharif crops are rice crop, maize crop, groundnut crop, soybean crop and cotton crop. And what about rabi crops? Crops that are grown during winter season are rabi crops. They are sown in the months of October and November and harvested in the month of April and May. Some examples of rabi crops are wheat crop, gram crop, pea crop and sunflower crop. But what about fruits and vegetables? Different fruits and vegetables are grown in different seasons. That is why we have seasonal fruits and vegetables in the market. For example, we have mangoes in summer and apples and oranges in winter season. Oh, now I understand. Dad, how do the farmers cultivate? Many acts are to be performed before cultivating a crop. These are called agricultural practices. There are different agricultural practices like ploughing a field to loosen the soil, manuring for good yield, sowing seeds, irrigation, spraying pesticides and weedicides, harvesting of the crops and storage. Preparing the soil means loosening or turning it. Loose soil means more earthworms and microbes. When soil is loosened, it helps dead plants and animals to get decomposed by soil organisms, which release various nutrients. In loosened soil, the water and oxygen reaches till the deeper layers. Turning the soil also brings nutrients to the top. For the process of soil preparation, first the soil is tilled or ploughed. The process of loosening and turning of the soil is called tilling or ploughing. The soil is tilled using a plough, hoe or a cultivator. The soil contains large pieces which are broken by a plough into fine soil. Next step is to level the soil using a leveller. The soil is watered before sowing. Sometimes manure is spread before tilling or ploughing. When the manure is spread before tilling, 
the manure mixes with the soil and thus nourishes the soil. What are the tools we require for preparing soil? In modern days, cultivator is used for preparing the soil. But older tools like plough and hoe are also used for preparing soil sometimes. A plough is usually made up of wood. But these days, metal plough is also being used. The main part of the plough is called the plough shaft. We can also see a handle attached to it. There is also a beam attached to the plough shaft. Beam is placed on the neck of the animal pulling the plough. The triangular iron fluke is called ploughshare. Usually, bulls are used to pulling a plough, but horses and camels can also be utilised for pulling the ploughs, depending upon the animal's availability. And what about hoe? Earlier hoe was used for tilling, but nowadays hoe is used for removing weeds. Hoe has got an iron blade attached to it. Hence, it is utilised for tilling and removing weeds. Can we have a look at cultivator? Sure, here it comes. A cultivator has a set of iron teeth attached to a rectangular frame and a pair of wheels. When a cultivator is pulled by a tractor, the teeth assist in breaking the soil. Use of a cultivator saves labour and time. After the soil is prepared in the field, we have to sow the field. But before sowing, good quality seeds are selected. Dad, how do we select good quality seeds? Good quality seeds are clean and healthy seeds. We will follow a method for separating good, healthy seeds from the damaged ones. We will take a bucket of water and fill half of it with water. We will put a handful of wheat seeds and stir well and then wait for some time. Some seeds are floating on the water. Yes, damaged seeds become hollow and thus lighter. Therefore, they float on water. Good quality seeds are heavier and sink. The tool used traditionally for sowing seeds is shaped like a funnel. It has got a funnel connecting pipes and wheel. The seeds are filled into the funnel. They pass down through two or three pipes having sharp ends. These ends pierce into the soil and place the seeds there. Nowadays, modern seed drills are used for sowing with the help of tractors. This tool sows the seeds uniformly at proper distances and depths. It ensures that seeds get covered by the soil after sowing and thus prevents damage caused by birds. Sowing by using a seed drill saves time and labour. An appropriate distance between the seeds is important to avoid overcrowding of plants. This allows plants to get sufficient sunlight, nutrients and water from the soil. Congratulations! We have come to the end of this lesson. At the end of this lesson, you are able to Identify cropping patterns, namely Rabi and Karif crops. Describe the equipments used for tilling the soil. List the tools used for sowing seeds in the fields. Visit ATEC Academy on www.atecedu.com or contact on 904